Well, for all the potential, the what ifs, there is a proven all star on this Laker roster. Brook Lopez with 14 in that first half. Lakers lead their co tenants at Staples 66 to 61. It's the American Express halftime report here on a Friday night. Good to have you with us. A uh, couple Hall of Famers over here Kevin McHale, Isaiah Thomas, future Hall of Famer over here, we'll Grant see. Hill. We'll see. <laughs> I'm Matt Weiner. I'm not, I'm not in any Hall of Fame. Soon to be. Have no prospects in that regard. Uh, let's take a look at the American Express teammates. And speaking of the potential, a couple of guys that the Lakers are counting on moving forward. Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, 20 points between them in this first half. But, uh, Kevin, we were talking a few minutes ago. What's interesting when you look at what's out there right now without Lonzo Ball is you start to wonder how much can he and his playmaking elevate what's on the floor tonight. If he can turn these guys into really good players, he's a hell of a basketball player, I'll tell you that. Because, I mean, I, I just don't know. I watch Ingram, I watch Randall, you know, Clarkson. I, I look at him and I think, I don't know. I, I, are they your four through nine, four through seven type guys? I mean, if Ball can get those guys, and I do believe that he's going to be rookie of the year, I think his ability to make everybody better is huge. But I just don't know how much better you can make some of those guys. I just don't see them having that type of game where you're saying, um, a, a, a good, a good facilitator, the facilitator is going to make these guys. This guy's got a great shot. You know, it, right, I just, yeah. like I said, it's hard for me to look at that and see how good this team's going to be. There, I, I love Ball. I'm not sure about the rest of the guys. Zeke, as you look at this roster now, is the potential there now, or is the potential more in salary cap space? If Brook Lopez walks next summer, they let him go. It, it's more in in salary cap space. I mean, they're they're. This is a team that you just want to kind of be competitive, uh, make a good showing, and lay the foundation or reestablish the Laker foundation of playing hard, showing up on time, carrying yourself in that Laker way. That's what this team is all about. But in terms of is this team going to be the team of the future, no. Now, they're setting themselves up perfectly to attract free agents now. Sure. Because everyone, you know, will want to play with a guy like Ball. Yeah. Right. And realistically, that's why they traded for Brook Lopez in the first place. His uh, big contract ends uh, next summer. What, what do you What do you think of when you look at the Lakers as they're situated right now? Yeah. I mean, look, Lonzo Ball, a great talent. He will uh, make it easier for guys, give them easier opportunities on the offensive end. The way he moves the ball, it's almost contagious when he's out there on the floor. But th this is about the future, as you said, Matt. You know, Brook Lopez is. His, uh, his contract expires next summer. Caldwell Polk uh, signed a one-year deal. So having the cap space is going to be important. And it's giving these young guys an opportunity to grow, get better. You know, whether they can attract a big-time free agent next summer or maybe they're back in the draft. And, but, you know, giving themselves some flexibility and having some young assets can only help them moving forward in the future. I, I just don't see it this year, though. They'll, they'll be fun to watch. And, and Ball, I, I love the Kuzma kid. I think he has a chance to be really good. But they just, you don't know what they are, right, at this moment in time. They're just young and kind of a weird, uh, weird the way the team is assembled is just kind of odd in a lot of ways at this point. Does the plan hinge on Ball becoming a star, or does it hinge on attracting a star? I, I, I mean, yeah, probably a little bit of both. I think Ball, though, I think of one of these young guys, somebody has to to be special. And I think Ball has that kind of potential. Uh, look, they can be a team that doesn't win a lot of games and not make the playoffs, but still be fun to watch. Sure. And Ball be somebody that impresses everybody uh, and becomes that kind of player, has the potential. But he has to be, he has to deliver. And uh, if he does that, then that's a huge step for this franchise who's really struggled in the last two or three years. Well, you know, NBA fans are smart. It's one thing to not be a very good team. It's another thing entirely to have light at the end of the tunnel. And you can see that on the floor, and they hope that's what Lonzo Ball represents. 66-61 at the break. Lakers on top of the L.A. Clippers. That's a potential train, Matt, that light. <laughs> <laughs> Could go either way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>